Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a template. So first of all, why we need a template? Uh, basically, if you if you have if you are receiving a um, lot of requests and those requests have the same information, let's take the incident um, application, uh, the incident form. Let's say we have all the time the same information. Let's say one user is having a reset. Uh, no, we have to reset the password for the user. So basically what we are going to complete here and here and whatever the priority, whatever the state is going to be the same in the beginning. So what you can do instead of completing manually all this information, you can create a template uh, in ServiceNow and then use it uh, whenever you need, in fact. So imagine the huge amount of repetitive uh, tasks that you can have and uh, you can automate that with the template so you can just create one template and it's going to just use that template is going to be useful for the agent who is working is it won't be like completing these things manually so the first thing we, we have to do look for the template which is already available so you can go to system definition and templates and you have all these templates we have around 48 so what we are going to do, we are going to use one template to see if, how this thing works. I would like to show you how this thing works before even creating one. Okay, so I'm going to incident table. So I have here three different templates. So reset password is one of the templates uh, that I modified recently and I would like to use that. So let me show you how it looks like. So I have the name here, all the information which should be populated. So all the fields and the, the values for that fields and the shot description. Um, this shot description is different from the shot description here. So this one is the one from, for the field that you have on the form level in the incident form level. And this one is the information that is that you have here, this one. So that's the difference so now I would like to use this one so the way uh, to use this template it's very easy you have to go to incident so you type incident and look for like open for example I have already in my in my favorite so I'm gonna use this and then you click new so at this point you can click here more options toggle template bar and you're going to, it's going to show you templates and the, all the templates available for you in order to use uh, so if you are the user of the template it will be here so I have reset password that's the one that I want to use so I click on that as you can see here all the information that I have in my template is automatically populated here so the color is Barbara category software subcategory is operating system the state is new impact and urgency is low and low and so on assignment group ID securities and assigned to its main and also the short description so you, you can basically do the same thing uh, you can create your own templates depending on the problem you're having uh, repetitively so let's create one so all I need to do here, I populate it. If you click on submit, it's created a ticket. So as you can see, it's very fast. So let's create one template now. So I'm going to system definition templates. If you type that, you will get this page and click on new. And it's going to be Andrew. Okay, I'm going to look for Andrew. Jackson is having, for example, all the time issues with Outlook. Outlook issue. So the user is going to be me. So I want to use this template. I'm going to make it global. If you want to use this template, it should be active. And the table where we are going to work on is the incident table. So I type incident, I choose the incident table. From this point, all I need to do is to just complete, uh, choose the, the fields and then put the values according to the fields. 
So the first thing here, the shard description, you know, to recognize our template in the list of the templates. So I'm going to say, I have uh, an issue each time I have no message no. okay so this is the short description for the template so short description for the field so it's going to be the same and the rest is going to be the information like from here so the color the color is going to be Andrew so the color is Andrew Jackson category category is going to be software subcategory is going to be email because we are having issues with outlook and uh, configuration item configuration item is going to be outlook as well so all i need to do is to type outlook okay i have it here and then what else short description we have done so we are moving to this part contact type contact type is going to be email State impact urgency. State is going to be new. Impact is going to be, let's put high, let's say high. And urgency, let's say also high. Great. So what else we need to do? This one is the data lookup table, which is going to define what is the priority assignment group. Assignment group is going to be help desk and the last thing assigned to is going to be me. So I'm going to take this incident and work on that. Okay, so pretty much you have all the information. It depends in your organization how what kind of information you want to have in your in your application. It can be incident application, it can be any sort of application that you're using. The idea here is to get the um, right field, put the right information in order to populate, uh, create the ticket uh, as quicker possible. So that's it. Uh, at this point, I'm going to submit. So my template is created. I'm going to just check if there or not. So as you can see here, Andrew Jackson Outlook issue. I have an issue with my Outlook application. The title is here and the user is created so I can use it. So let's go to, so if you want to use it, you can type incident and then you can create a new incident. I'm going to just use my shortcut, click on new. And I have automatically the bar here. So if you don't have that, all you need to do is to click on more option at this point and toggle table uh, template bar. And then you click Andrew Jackson Outlook issue. Once you click on that, it's going to automatically put all the information. Remember, I put impact and urgency high and high. So, so click on that. As you can see here, Andrew Jackson Outlook issue template apply. It put all the information that I have, the short description, category, the user, the color assigned to me. It's going to be a help desk and as well it changed the priority to critical because I have impact high and urgency high so right now all I need to do is to click on submit my incident is created I would like to show you another thing as well so go to incident so here you can see major incident is it's the user the user rick berzel you can see the major incident and if i click here 
is global. That's why I am able to see that as well in my template bar. What if, uh, but, but my Andrew Jackson Outlook issue, let's say it's not global. I'm gonna put not global. I'm gonna make it not global. So if it is not global, I'm the only one who can see it. So let's impersonate to Rick and test that. So I'm going here, incident. And I click on new. As you can see here, Rick is not able to see my template. If you want that person to see my template, all you need to do is to make it global. If you make it global in this bar, if that person will be able to see that. So the way we're gonna do it, so I'm going to make, I'm going here and uh, system definition. Now uh, let's impersonate, let's go back to my profile because it's going to be much more easier. I click on template and I click on type incident and I'm going to choose Andrew Jackson. I'm going to make it global. Okay. Update it. Now I'm going to impersonate. I'm going to be Rick. And let's see if Rick is able to see Andrew Jackson or not, Andrew Jackson template or not. So I'm going to type incident and click on create new. So I click here, toggle template bar. As you can see here, Andrew Jackson outlook issue, it's appearing. Before there was only um, major incident and reset password, not this one. It's because I made it global. So that's one of the information that you can have as well. And you have to also remember that Rick and Hi should have the access for the application incidents. If you do not have the access for the, this application, you won't have this information. So great. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it. And until next time, bye.